Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, you're going to learn something very interesting which is about telephone expressions. But before we start telephone expressions, let's first learn what is telephone etiquette. Telephone etiquette is about the way we behave, the way we talk or the way we receive the call and answer the call. So it's about telephone manners. Many people speak into the telephone as they wish. But it's very important that we follow certain guidelines while talking in the telephone. So let's get started with telephone etiquette. The first thing you must remember is speak in a pleasant tone. You cannot see the other person. So it's very, very important that you speak in a pleasant tone, pleasant wise. You must speak slowly and clearly and not very loudly. And the second thing you must follow is introduce yourself in the beginning itself. When you make a call to somebody, don't keep saying hello, hello. The first thing you must do is after saying hello, introduce yourself. Tell who you are and then say what you want. The third thing is do not keep the call for too, on hold for too long. Do not the keep, keep the call on hold for too long, which means that if you want to call somebody, if they are asking for somebody and you want to keep it on hold, don't keep it on hold for too long. You can just ask them to call back again. If it's going to take a long time, tell them that you will call back again. And the next thing is, do not talk to people around you while on the phone. There are some people who talk to all the people in the house while talking on the telephone. They give instructions to somebody or they discuss somebody or they even talk anything casually to somebody while on the phone. This is not a very nice thing. When you're talking on the phone, you must focus on the conversation on the phone. The next thing is, do not eat or work with something while you are on the phone. That means don't munch or eat something or drink something when you are talking on the telephone. And the next thing is, plan what you want to discuss. When you make a call to somebody, it's very important that you plan what you want to talk. Otherwise, you cannot be up to the point and the conversation goes on and on. So it's very important for you to plan your conversation with the other person so that communication is clear. And the last thing is make the call short and up to the point. So it's very important that communication is the main focus of your phone call. It's not conversation, it is communication. When you meet a person face to face, you can talk a lot. But when you're talking on the phone, always be up to the point. So I hope you understand what telephone manners or telephone etiquette is all about. Now let's go to the next part, which is very interesting. It's about using the right telephone expressions. Let's get started. Now, when you make a call, you say, Am I speaking to so-and-so? Am I speaking to Raju? Am I speaking to Shobha? So you mention the names, make sure you're talking to the right person. And the second thing is, could I speak to? Could I speak to Mr. Rao? Could I speak to Mr. Verma? Could I speak to Rajesh? So you are asking the other person whether you can speak to the other person. So sometimes, when you're not sure who is picking up the phone, it's very important to confirm who is on the other side and then start your conversation. So it's very nice if you can say, could I speak to instead of can I speak to? Or you can also introduce yourself at the beginning of the conversation. You can say, hello, I'm so-and-so. I would like to speak to so-and-so. And the next thing you can say is, good morning, may I speak to? Another way of Talking is by introducing yourself after a greeting. Then you can say, when you receive a call, may I know who is calling? If somebody calls you, you can say, may I know who is calling? Or when somebody 
is not available on the phone to talk and you want to convey some message you can say can I leave a message can I leave a message and when you want to confirm you can also say hello is it or when you want to talk about yourself when you want to introduce yourself you can say hello this is me when you're talking to a friend you can say hello this is me or hello this is so when the other person knows you very well and you are making a call you can introduce yourself in a very very informal and casual manner so i hope you understand what these expressions are all about now let's look at some other expressions hold on for a second please what is hold on for a second please that means when you want to call someone you can say hold on for a second please then you can say one moment please that means one minute or one second i'm sorry he is not here at the moment suppose the person concerned is not there so how do you reply you say i am sorry he is not here at the moment and if you want to know who is on the phone you can say who is on the line please who is on the line please or you can say would you like to leave a message would you like to leave a message or you can say just a moment please and if you don't understand what the other person is saying you can say i'm sorry i didn't get you i'm sorry i don't i didn't get you or you can simply say could you repeat this could you repeat this now the next expression i'm busy i'll call you in a little while sometimes you are busy at work so you may not be able to answer the phone call or talk to the person for a long time so what do you say i'm busy can you call back in a little while or you can say i will call call you back in a little while or you can say is it the right time to call you suppose you want you are talking to somebody you don't know and you want to talk something to the person and first thing you want to do is to confirm whether it is the right time you can't disturb people at all times isn't it so first thing you do is confirm is it the right time to call you and if somebody calls you and talks to you then you say thank you for calling thank you for calling then you can say could you speak up a little please what is the meaning of could you speak up a little please suppose the person is talking in a low volume you're not able to hear the person you can say could you speak up a little speak up means increase the volume then if you have already received a call and you could not take the call you can say i have a missed call from your phone may i know who it is sometimes we get calls from some unknown people and you want to call back and find out who it is how do you say you say i have a missed call on you on your phone from your phone so may i know who it is or you can say when you want to get connected to somebody you can say could you put me through to please could you put me through to the manager to the principal to the uh, maybe to the uh, team leader or to the receptionist or whatever and now let's go to some sample telephone expressions or conversations let's get started listen to these conversations and try to see how the expressions have been used hello i'm radha am i speaking to deepa yes please may i know who is calling i'm radha your classmate at school oh what a pleasant surprise how did you get my number i got it from veena how are you doing i'm doing good and you i'm fine maybe we should meet up sometime yes we must hope to see you soon sure i'll save your number bye see how pleasant it is you are talking to a friend after a very long time many people do not know how to use the right expressions and they mess up a telephone call they don't know how to answer they don't know how to greet so you must know these ways of greeting people on the telephone and talking in a very smooth way talking having a nice conversation on the telephone so let's go to the second conversation now good morning is this arun enterprises yes please may i know who is calling i'm ravindra could i speak to the manager i'm afraid he is in a meeting oh i see would you like to leave a message 
No, I'll call him an hour later. Okay, sir. So this is a formal one where you're calling an office. Here you should greet saying good morning. And you must first confirm whether it's the same place you want to call. And then you must politely ask for the person you want to talk to. This is a formal conversation. Many times people don't know how to converse in the official uh, circle. They don't know how to talk to their colleagues. They don't know how to talk on the telephone to an office. So it's important that you learn both formal and informal telephone expressions. I'm sure you enjoyed watching this video and you have learned some expressions related to telephones, talking on the telephone. It was interesting, I'm sure. And I'll come back with more videos for you, many more interesting videos. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. Until then, goodbye.